SmartCam version 18.5 includes a significant new roughing process option for creating morphing toolpath. We'll quickly generate some morphing toolpath on some of the pockets in this component. The morphing option is found in the SmartCam pocket roughing process. Choose a morph path type and select a machining boundary. We'll override the model Z depth for this example and cut this toolpath at Z minus 0.1 and hit Go to generate our morphing toolpath. Each piece of morph toolpath is tangential to the previous move. This means that the motion that could cause a shock load on the tool are eliminated. The benefit of that is that we can use a high-speed milling methodology. Our example shows toolpath that opens out from the entry position, morphing smoothly to the pocket profile. An island can also be included in the morphing process. We'll modify our toolpath to avoid the central boss feature. Select the island profile to avoid and regenerate the toolpath. Now the toolpath morphs between the diameter at the center and the outer profile. Let's remove that toolpath from the display and underline the benefits of SmartCam's new morphing toolpath by creating toolpaths for this pocket feature. Sharp changes of direction associated with other roughing process methods such as linear and spiral machining are eliminated. Toolpaths are smooth and tangential, suitable for high-speed milling conditions. A single toolpath can be generated where the tool stays down wherever possible, avoiding retracts and plunges. High-speed machining morphing toolpaths are invaluable when hard metal machining. Morphing toolpath generation is available in all SmartCam milling solutions, including production milling and advanced turning. Morphing toolpath can also be of benefit in facing processes. We generated conventional facing toolpath and morphing toolpath to these identical components. On the right hand part, we have applied a typical facing process using a 3 inch, 5 tooth carbide insert face mill. And on the left hand part, a morphing toolpath using a 3 quarter inch, 2 flute carbide milling cutter, excluding the bore in the center of the part. We included tangential arc lead-in at the start of the high-speed machining facing toolpath. So why did we feel it was important to invest our development time on morphing toolpaths? Cut technology really is your department, and we know that the demands and constraints of every setup are unique, but we wanted to make a comparison here. We have used a high-speed milling methodology on the morphing toolpath. We used a spindle speed of 25,000 RPM and 6 thousandths per tooth yielding a feed rate of 300 inches per minute. We used a very small width of cut in the process, consistent with high-speed machining methods. But in the conventional facing process, we used a slower spindle speed of 300 RPM with a feed rate of 4 thousandths per tooth as is required for non-high-speed machining. The difference in the two cycle times confirms the enormous benefit of using high-speed machining morphing toolpaths. While the conventional toolpath process came out at 11.5 minutes, the morphing toolpath process produced a cycle time of only 5.5 minutes, providing a time savings of over 52%. When we consider that we were pushing the speed and feed cutting limits used with the slower conventional facing cutter, but still had even higher RPMs available on the spindle, we realize even greater time savings could be achieved if we desired. If you run high-speed machining capable machinery, you've just seen how SmartCam's morphing toolpaths can save you cycle time and money. Morphing toolpath is just one of the enhancements that you can benefit from by implementing SmartCam version 18.5. You could be saving time and saving money right now. Why not give us a call? For more information on SmartCam version 18, please check the SmartCam CNC website 
at smartcamcnc.com or call us at 541-344-4563.